Well, I think one of the ways we can combat sort of these half-truths or these claims of half-truths is to actually probe a little bit further into the half-truth itself by asking questions. I think questions is the key and the essential to having civil conversations even when you don't, don't agree. So if someone were to say something like, on a deist perspective, well, I believe there's a creator, that there was a designer to everything, but he's just taking his hands off the wheel. So my question in response to that becomes, well, how do you know? How do you know he's taking his hands off the wheel? Why would you assume that? What backup do you have for that kind of a thing? See, it's often the case for Christians, um, especially in small communities, where we want to defend immediately. So if someone makes a claim, we want to defend or proclaim, this is true. Uh, so when someone channel challenges the Bible and says, well, it's a very influential book, but there's no way God wrote that book. Well, we want to defend. Yes, there is, and here's the 15 reasons why. The problem is you didn't make the claim. They made the claim. The, the person who offered the half-truth or the mistruth or the un, un, misunderstood version of Christianity is the one who made the claim. So they bear the burden of proof. So don't rush always to defend. Rush instead for clarity's sake. So um, whether it's from the pulpit too. So I often think that uh, sometimes we can see a different worldview or a different claim and say, okay, I'm gonna respond to this from the pulpit or from the public platform. And um, you don't always give it its full measure. In other words, you present a straw man, well-meaning, but we present half of the whole story. And so we respond to half of their objection too. So we have to be as, filled with integrity about their worldview as we expect them to be about the Christian worldview. So one, lead by example then. But two, ask good questions that put the burden on the right person, the person making the claim, and you'll quickly find out that a lot of people haven't thought it through really that well, um, or their, their evidence is really flimsy. And then you can, through more questioning, uncover what the problem actually is, and then lead them along the road to say, this is the full truth. And then you'll get your chance. You will get your chance to defend and to provide the reasons for the hope that you have. But um, questions is a great way to gain someone's trust and, and gain credibility as well.